What's up guys, Kelly McKay here, AKA HVC Millionaire right here on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, hit the like button and leave me a comment below. Today we're talking about attracting and retaining talented people to come and join your team. So one of the first things that I like to at least have people consider is for one, we would love to have somebody who could come on the team and jump in a vehicle and just go start making money for our company. That would be great in a perfect world. And it's possible that you could have that happen, but you have to consider before that's going to happen is why would somebody like that come to work for you? What makes your company different? What makes your company unique? What kind of benefits would you offer that some of maybe the bigger competitors who have been around for many, many, many years longer than you have, how, how, what would be so appealing to them to join your team versus somebody else's? Now, sometimes it just naturally happens. People become upset or uh, unhappy in the workplace. And so they actively begin looking for some something else. And one of the things that I can tell you is that you being in a smaller company position, if that's where you're at, that's actually an incredible advantage because somebody coming from another company, there is so much opportunity in your business to become something more than just a technician, something more than just an installer. There's going to be positions that need to be filled as the business grows. That could be one unique thing about your company. Another thing that I'll say is so many people just wait for that perfect hire to come right up to your doorstep asking for a position to join your team. I'm not gonna say that the chances of that of happening are zero, it could happen, but it's not gonna happen or be nearly as likely as you may think it's gonna happen. So don't wait for that perfect hire. Think of how many steps a helper can help you save each day. How many trips to the truck? How many flights of stairs will they help you save? Just by coming on board and helping you perform your talent with your customers day in and day out. At the end of the week, it's hundreds of thousands of steps, possibly, 50 to, a, to 200 sets of stairs that this one person can save you just by being a gopher, just going for the things that you need, back to the truck, helping you lift things. All of these things can save your body, save your energy so that you can go longer and you can serve more customers. So don't wait for that perfect hire. The other great thing about that is that when somebody joins your team, especially if they're outside of the industry, you're giving them a chance to build a, an actual career, a career that can take care of their families for the rest of their lives. Whether they stay on your business with your business or not, if they do a great job and they decide to stay with you or not stay with you, the bottom line is their job security is guaranteed for life because the shortage in technicians is not gonna solve itself. It's not going away. In fact, I believe it's going to get much worse. So. The, it's a very lucrative career to become a technician. These are all things that might help you create a, a really compelling ad or persuade somebody to give heating and air conditioning a try. And I think that's always great to bring somebody from outside the industry to help them build a career for themselves and their families. When it comes to retaining people, this is something that I've made horrible mistakes in. So the great thing about these videos and what we do in the HVAC Millionaire Coaching is you can not make the same mistakes that we made in our businesses. So in order to retain people, one of the number one things that must happen is people have to feel appreciated. And the thing is, is that they have to feel appreciated in a language that matters to them. Currently right now in the HVAC Millionaire Coaching, we're going through the training because I'm a facilitator of the five languages of appreciation in the workplace. I think it's something that I'll probably do training on in the future, just like a half day on a Saturday. Um, so be sure to watch my videos for that when I'm ready to launch that, maybe within the next month or so. Um, because I think it's a skill that everybody should learn to help keep people happy and help them feel appreciated in a way that's actually meaningful to them. Another thing that a really smart coach taught me was to look at your history of employment with people who come and join your team. Take a look at that. Determine what the average stay is because people leave. Things happen in life. 
Maybe their wives or their husbands get a different position that they just can't say no to and they have to move. Maybe they decide they're not gonna do heating and air conditioning anymore and they wanna switch to a different career or field. Whatever the case, people do leave. They also leave because you have to let them go and let them go try working for somebody else. Another reason is that they leave you because they're just unhappy and they just aren't enjoying the work environment that you've produced. Whatever the reason that they leave, just know that the more appreciation you can show in a way that's meaningful to them, the more likely they're gonna stay and be happy. And when that happens, you get better productivity, less tardiness, less calling in sick, and customer the customer experience that they provide is gonna be better because they're just in a generally happy mood. So hope this was helpful, guys. Just giving you a few pointers here. Be sure to take these, use these, learn from our mistakes, and go make money. Also, the HVAC Accelerator Challenge is starting in less than two weeks. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Be sure to click on that and join the challenge. It's incredibly affordable. It's going to be over five hours of training. It's going to be incredibly valuable to help you accelerate the growth and make more money in your HVAC business. Love you guys. Go make money. Boom.